So when we're making our carrot puree, we just want to make sure that the carrots are tender. Um, if you can take a back of your spoon and, and kind of uh, squish it against uh, the side of your pan, that's the technical term, to squish the carrot. So with the carrot dish, we sweat some shallots, ginger, carrots, and then added some carrot juice. If that carrot juice starts to reduce a little bit too far, we just added uh, a little bit of water just to help boil the carrots. And then we're going to blend it. We want to make sure we're only adding enough liquid to blend, unless we're making a soup, which is the great, great soup as well. Probably got about 100 different uses for good olive oil. Uh, when you have it at home, I tend to put it in a lot of different things. For this puree, I like to finish with just a little splash of the olive oil. That's going to help with the viscosity of the puree. It's really easy to incorporate uh, that Mediterranean flavor into any dish that you're doing. So it'll help cream it out a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue to blend it until it's silky smooth. Always kind of scrape down the sides there. So I tend to lean towards uh, the Spanish uh, sherry vinegar when I'm using, uh, trying to incorporate a little acid to my dishes. Uh, it's uh, a medium vinegar, balsamic would work fine as well, or a, a flavored vinegar. So it's important when we're searing our fish to have a nice dry piece of skin and a hot pan. So that oil is just starting to smoke, so it's the proper temperature. We're gonna go skin side down into that hot pan. Once your fish is in the pan and you've got that hot smoke point on your oil, you can turn it down to a medium heat so that it's gonna be a nice and even pan roast. So after we sear our white fish, I like to throw it in the oven just for a little bit to have that even cook. When you flip that fish, you should have a nice, nice golden crisp. I'm gonna let that butter melt a little. I like to rest that fish on top of the thyme. Then you can also put that thyme right on top of the fish to import that flavor. So your garlic and your thyme and your butter are all starting to take a, a great relationship of uh, deliciousness together. And then we're just going to baste it. And when you baste it, it's just you're basically kind of butter frying it. So we like to steam the corn off in the husk slightly and then finish them directly on the grill so those kernels get a nice char to them. Uh, and that's going to balance nicely when we kind of smother it in some nice miso aioli and uh, a little bit of chili, lime, and some cotija cheese. So we've got that beautiful piece of white fish. It's nice and rested. So we've got a little bit of espalette chili. Um, Aleppo chili, um, any kind of chili, any heat that you're bringing uh, to the dish is going to work out good. Throw a little bit on there for garnish also. And then we're going to squeeze some of our fresh lime on that as well. So the dishes that I picked uh, include the corn from the market, the Tuscan kale, as well as the carrots and wanted to do certain preparations to accentuate those dishes based on my personal preference. Um, the corn is the big one, uh, the Mexican street corn elotes, it's got a lot of flavor to it. We added a little bit of miso to our, our aioli or, or mayonnaise um, to accentuate that umami. Uh, it's that time of year right now where that corn is in full bloom in Wisconsin. It's one of my favorite crops that's uh, grown in Wisconsin. Um, with the espalette and the chili, you've got a little heat, you've got a little acid and lime um, that make that corn pop. Uh, great dish to do in the summertime on the grill when you're out grilling for easy preparation. The last dish here is kind of looks like the most restaurant of the of the dishes, little fufu. Uh, we've got our carrots and a couple different preparations. Can be easily made at home too by just omitting a couple of items. So you've got your carrot puree that could be frozen or made into soup and frozen. It's a great dish if you wanted to do family style by just adding a couple different pieces of fish to that. Uh, preparation and presentation and any kind of you know garnishing greens would be great on that we used a little sunflower shoots and some, some uh, nasturtium leaves um, but some pea shoots or anything fresh from the garden flat leaf parsley makes a beautiful garnish uh, the heart of these dishes um, the braised kale the grilled corn and the carrots and the whitefish combination are these real simple flavors that uh, get me as a chef as a as a eater, uh, excited about to enjoy.